All right, so I'm leaving the map. Let me just see what these... Apparently I can. It just like derps me out. I do want to see what this, this giant cruiser is though. Okay, this is the Ark underneath us. There's some more stuff. You can see all the obelisks down here too. Pretty accurate. What is this giant spaceship right here though? This is huge. Look at this. Work to be doing. And you're sleeping on the job. We gotta make it back to base Delta to analyze our findings from yesterday. Found some pretty interesting things. You won't believe what we came up with. Got, got your tongue day? Thank goodness. Couldn't keep your trap shut all day yesterday. Expected here. He's out collecting more samples.
The first one we've got to remember is called Ojo no Mori. And we're going to teleport there and you guys will see how awesome that mechanic is. So we have landed on Ojo no Mori. Um, we don't want to make, we don't want to, I don't know how many of these little space stations are around. So we're going to, I feel like I want a UFO to, to go around here. So we're going to spawn in, we're going to spawn in a UFO. And the reason why we're going to spawn in, hopefully we can have it on this land, is because, can we use it? Oh, I don't think we can use a UFO yet on this land. Oh, no, we can. There we go. Okay, and the reason why I want one is because you can get around very quickly, and we are in space, so we can have a little look around what is on this island. So, so far, what it looks like is, that, you know, this is pretty much, is, as I said, it's early access. There is something in the middle. We're going to go have a look what that thing is in the middle after we explore this this island and see what's on it. And, and I feel like this could be a cool sort of, like, team wars, team battle sort of thing. What is this? don't even know what that is but um yeah I, I feel like this has got so much potential exploring space and um it would be cool if you could see earth somewhere so it looks like you've like flown from it like i said at the start of the video um but yeah this is the first place and we'll uh we'll, we'll land the ufo we'll leave we'll have to keep spawning in different ufos to fly around it's not like it's massive but we'll also we'll head back and i'll show you again teleporting is really awesome get into it and you are smart gravity and now you have gravity as you come back in here so the first one we went into was that one so we're going to move on now to t and zeta which will be interesting so let's go to that land now bear in mind um some of them take a whoa where are we okay this one is interesting is this water it's got to be water um I'm not sure the water's fully finished yet because we just fell through it. Um, but yeah, this is this this is an interesting one. What can I spawn? I might spawn in a UFO so um, we can fly around it a little bit and see. I feel like it's just going to be basic like this at the moment. So I suppose we could just oh, there's more there's more up there. Is that the thing in the middle that we're going to check out, or is that something actually on this island? I feel like oh no, they're just like the outskirts of it. Okay, I see. So I feel like this one could be quite a cool one when that gets developed, but, you know, I'm glad we had creative mode on so we didn't end up, like, falling down and dying straight away. And there's also a planet over there somewhere. I'd love to just adventure the worlds in Ark Survival Evolved. So that was that one, an interesting one, still got a lot of work to do. But we are now moving on, so we'll see what, is this the one we just, I think, I think this is the one we just went to. Yeah, so, so we'll go around like this. So the next one is... I think there's four in total, is there? Oh, there might be five. I think there's five. So where is this? Lush. Okay, we'll go. We'll, we'll, we'll visit, visit the planet Lush. Let's see what this one's gonna look like. Okay. Wow. This has a little bit more detail. Is that a cave? No, we cannot be going exploring into a cave with with nothing to fight. I mean, I don't even know if there's any if there's anything on here to fight yet. But wow, this one is this one is cool. I really like this. Just run down into this, this keep or maybe it just takes you oh it does take you to an underground bit Ooh, that looks very interesting okay so this map actually has like an under um, <laughs> um, um that kind of freaked me out a little bit <laughs> is there more what? <laughs> I'm going one sec. Let me get a UFO. Can I? There we go. All right. Let's hop into the UFO. And we're going to head down here. What is going on here? Wait. Let's just hop out and leave that. There's a... Can we break anything? We can't. This is a strange one. This is... These must be the aliens of this planet that just feel like they're just all of a sudden going to turn their head on me and just like attack me. But I think we should probably leave. Um, I don't want to get, I don't want to be in someone else's territory. There's more down there. Oh, well, okay. What is this down here as well? I don't want to get lost. <laughs> I really don't want to get lost. Wait, is this like a slide? Are we going to find our way back out of this? Oh, no, it keeps going. But Oh, okay. I'm sure that wasn't planned, but how do we find our way back? Can we use a UFO to to leave, or can we? I suppose if we fly up really high, I could find the uh, the spawning zone. But that 
that was a really cool one. It kind of spooked me out at the same time. Um, I thought we were going further and further down into like the depths. Oh, there we go. There's the spawn. So, definitely out of all of them so far, that was my favourite one. Bit strange, but um, we'll we'll go with it. That was a very 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 fun. Um, so we'll drop down here. I think we've got two more to explore in space in Arc Survival Evolved. Did you think you'd ever see this? And uh, we'll teleport. There we go. Let's get back. And we need to look. So that's the one we just visited. So we need these two here. We've got... Okay. Let's go to this one. This one has a cool name, I think. Um, this, some of them might take a bit... Okay, right. I thought that was a Megalodon for a second. I don't think there's actually any... Oh, wait. What's that, there's a dolphin down there. Um, I thought that was Eglodon for a sec. I don't think there's actually any. Oh, wait, what is that? There's a dolphin down there. Um, it's like an underground, a bit more of an underground. Um, oh no. Oh no, we're not stuck because you need a crit. Okay, this is really interesting. I suppose that's where it's crash, something's crash landed. Should we have a look at what's over here? This looks like a nice area, but is that? Is, I think all like the like the uh, dinos and stuff like frozen in this game. Yeah, you just walk straight through them. You can't. They're not even like. Okay, interesting. It's, and the water. Oh no, the water, you can swim in this water in this one, but something something just tells me I don't want to be in, in this water for some reason. It just doesn't give me the good vibes, but I like this one. Obviously, there's a lot of work to be put into these, but I really like this. This this map is awesome. And now we've got one more left to explore. One more left. As I said, oh no, no we've got one more left to explore, then we're going to explore what that thing is in the middle there, seeing if that's anything different, and see if you can actually leave these once you teleport into them. That would be an interesting thing. So, teleport. Final one. Is it over? This is no. So we've been to that one. It's this one here. Okay. So this is the final one to explore. Let's go. It has another another cool name, I think. Oh, this is the ice one. Okay. So this is the frozen land. Are we gonna? Yep. All good to. Oh, it's a very, very, very cold one. What's gonna happen? Okay. So doesn't look like this is interactive yet. Are we? Yeah, we're all good. So I think this is probably again a bit of an unfinished one maybe, but again has potential. I like the look of it and everything like that, but what we're going to do now, I'm going to, where's the main base? That's what I want to know. Is, is, is that the main base in the middle there? I think, oh, that is the main base. I was, you guys have probably been, like, when you're watching, telling me that's the main base on the whole time. But let's see if we can fly over from one of them in a UFO to this. So let's spawn in one. I don't know why I keep spawning them in when I can just press 1, I think. But, um, yeah, let's go. You've lost smart gravity. Can I fly? Oh, I can. I can leave the islands in a UFO or the different map. Oh, no, you can't. It's stopping me. Oh, no, it isn't. Okay, and there's obviously all the different obelisks at the bottom here. And we can actually fly over to the main bit. What's happening? <laughs> what? Okay, maybe it just starts to spawn in again. Can we fly into it somehow? Is there anything on the top? Oh! What just happened? We've just lost our UFO and now we're just falling. <laughs> that was not meant to happen. But yeah, I really, really, really like the look of this map. I feel like it has so much potential. We can actually overlook some of the different islands here in the world of Ark. So, let me know what you thought about this video. Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy exploring Ark, uh, like, in this sort of way? Would you like to see more? Should we go on more different types of adventures? Let me know. I know I like to do news on the channel and stuff, but these types of things, you go on, to, you get to explore new things, you don't know what's coming your way, is always very fun. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. See you guys later.